Hi everybody. Uh, today I will talk about delegated property in Kotlin. Uh, so let's start with uh, the blank project and we will talk about delegated property. Now we have a user class and in the user class we have a today uh, task is a string, is a property. So the user will delegate uh, to the delegated user. Uh, for example, hi delegated user, please implement getter and setter up uh, this property for me. It means that uh, the user will uh, delegate to the object delegate user to do uh, to do uh, the the getter and setter to the user. Yes, uh, this is the delegated uh, property. It means the property will be related to another class to. Uh, do the getter and setter for this uh, user or this class or this current class. So, okay, this is a diagram. Now, start with uh, defining a user. We have the user class with uh, the property today task is a string, and we have the class delegated user. Uh, it means that the user will delegate to the delegated user. Uh, about how to do some of the function getter etc for the property of the user okay uh, so in this we will have some of the uh, you need to use the operate function you remember that use operate function it is a get the getter so uh, when you uh, get the value it will call to the getter and the property is a Kotlin property so uh, getter is get value and setter is set uh, is set value remember that about this and the delegated user will implement this function uh, okay uh, so uh, remember that the property is var uh, today task and uh, you have to you buy by delegated property uh, by delegated user and this rep means that the user object uh, here it is a user object or the delegation object uh, so you have to call uh, this and inside this we implement uh, we return to the value for example you return to the value that uh, this rep or the user object time for delegating uh, the property name or today task to me or to delegated user this is any because it can uh, do for any uh, object that you define uh, except that the user object or etc any object so the property name is uh, my today task uh, is string today task and we also have uh, uh, the setter the setter is a set value function uh, I use the operator function uh, set value and similarly to get value I will use the set value when you set a value to the property the delegated user will do it for you and uh, inside this I um, use uh, I can access to the value uh, to the property the property here is uh, task for today and the value here is a new value. The new value has assigned to uh, the current task today. Uh, for example, you have the one task one, task two, and assigning. Then we have a new object of user uh, here. We create a new object, and I print to the screen that object today task. This will call the getter when you uh, dot and to the property it will call to the getter uh, to get the value and it will call to the get value uh, function so uh, we run okay then it call to hello user object at uh, uh, blah 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 here is a uh, uh, memory address and time for getting today task for me today task is a property dot name okay and this rep point to the user uh, object uh, in the hello package and um, 
so it is a get value you can uh, the change you can change the return value for this uh, depending on your aim your purpose uh, by displaying the value and if you assign you assign a today task to a, a new value then this will call the setter the equal or assignment is the setter the setter will set the value or the new value as i make a new video tutorial on kotlin and this is a value this this string is also a value so uh, this value will be set to today task and after setting it will go into set value function so you see that yes assigning to today task in uh, hello user object the detail is a uh, new value i make a new video tutorial in kotlin okay so this is uh, the delegate of a property